In this video, we discuss about ellipse. At the end of this topic, students will be able to determine the equation of the ellipse that have a center and foci. To determine all the vertices, foci major and minor axis, and also to determine the center and foci of an ellipse by completing the square. So why is it ellipse? So ellipse is a set of the all points on a plane, the sum of the whose, this, whose distance from two fixed points that is from the two foci is constant, as you can see from the diagram below. So ellipse can be categorized into two major categories. The first one that having a horizontal major axis and vertic the other one is vertical major axis. So in general, so this is the standard form equation of ellipse. So x minus h squared, y minus k squared, which is quite similar to circle. So the difference is below that we have over a squared. Uh, below x and also b squared below y and on the right hand side it is equals to 1 unlike circle which is on the right hand side will be the radius so how do you state distinguish between horizontal and vertical major axis so for horizontal major axis the value of a is greater than b so if you notice that a is greater than b so it should be horizontal major axis. On the other hand, if the value of B is greater than A, so it should indicate that this one is having a vertical major axis. So, so let's take a look about horizontal major axis. So the major axis is on the do blue dotted line here. So this major horizontal major axis is parallel to the S axis. So here it is a minor axis and then in the middle it will be a center that having a coordinate hk and we have two foci here that is the value of k is same and the difference is they having plus minus c so c is actually the distance between center and the foci and also they have a uh, vertices on major axis. So on vertices on major axis, it is H plus minus A. So this one is plus A and the left one is minus A. So H is the distance actually, the distance between center to the vertices on the major axis that is uh, horizontal. So on the other hand, we also have two minor vertices. So for minor vertices, since it is in the direction of y, so the value of x is remain, that is h. So the difference is plus minus b is at k. That is value of y. So that's for minor axis. On the other hand, for vertical major axis, so the major axis, the blue line is parallel to the y axis. So the perpendicular one will be the minor axis. So also in the middle, it will be a center and also the foci. So notice that since the changing here is in at y, so plus minus c now at k and not at h. The same also for vertical, the vertices on major axis. So plus minus b is at k. So plus minus b because vertical is parallel to the y. So the change is at y. So in other hand, for minor axis, so plus minus is at h. Okay, because a is always associated with H, that is S. So, take notes here. 
An ellipse is symmetrical with respect to the axis that is major axis. So it has one, cent one center in the middle. It has two focus that is we call for sign. It also has four vertices, two vertices on major and two the other two in the minor, minor axis. Right, so this is the table that will summarize uh, the difference between ellipse that having horizontal major axis and ellipse that having vertical major axis. So the first one is the center. So actually the center is similar for both horizontal and vertical major axis. That is the coordinate of center is HK. For the foci, as I said before, we are using the parameter C, that is the distance between center and focus. So, for horizontal major axis, the plus minus C at H, where for vertical major axis, plus minus C at K. And also for vertic vertices, so we have two vertices on major axis and two vertices on minor axis. So, for vertices on minor axis, minor axis, since horizontal, the change in here at X, uh, the horizontal is X, so the, the plus minus A also at H. And then for minor as is, so plus minus B is at K. And for vertical major as is, so vertical actually at K, at Y, so plus minus B with K and plus minus A with H. So plus minus K with B and plus minus A with H is same for uh, both horizontal and vertical major axis. So the difference is how we interpret the major and minor only. So for horizontal, the major is at X and for vertical, the major is at Y. And also the length of major axis. So since the major axis is at X, so X always associated with A. So 2 times A, that is between 2 ends of uh, major vertices. So it will be 2, two times A. And also for vertical major axis, so it's direction of Y. So we, will use, we use B. So for both distance from both end of vert uh, major vertices so it will be 2 times B. So the length of minor axis is opposite of for each other. So since uh, major is 2A, so minor will be 2B. So same also for vertical, since the major is 2B, so the minor will be 2A. Okay, there are also tips below here. The longer axis will be the major axis, okay? as I said before, the shorter axis will be the minor axis. So here we have two types of equation of ellipse. So the left one here is represent the general equation. On the right one here represent the standard equation. So remember for general equation, on the right hand side will be equals to zero. For standard equation on the right hand side will be equals to 1. It has a factor for x and y. And below x and y there will be a square and b square. So in order to get this standard equation which is very useful to find the center and also uh, the length of, of uh, major and minor vertices. So you have to do a completing the square. So this completing the square is very useful not only for this. Uh, it is, but also before that there is uh, in circle also and later on when we discuss parabola we also need to do commuting the square in order to get the standard equation so in the reverse process if you want to change from standard equation to general equation so we just do uh, expand okay right so that's all for this, this video so stay tuned for the next video for the example regarding ellipse.